It's that time again, folks. From one classic to another. Computer Entertainment Europe presents a Universal Interactive Studios production. Who gave the game to play this well? By Naughty Dog! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome, welcome to my playthrough of Crash Bandicoot Warped. Oh man, this game is such a classic. Okay, wow, that is loud. I am going to have to uh, bring that down a bit somehow. I don't know how, but uh, I'll do it. Anyway, shall we begin? Uka is free. No, it cannot be. Evil, great evil has come. A bit. If that's still picking up, then I apologize. I don't know how to fix that. That is Clancy Brown. That's Uka Uka. Uka Uka. It was that Clancy Brown also voicing Cortex. I sent you simple wow. instructions to follow, but you lost the gems, you lost the crystals, and I have lost my patience. There is now no other power uh -oh. left on this planet. I know we've had a few unfortunate setbacks and failed. But since your bumbling has managed to set me free, I am feeling generous. There is still a way for us to Who amass the power the needed background? to enslave this miserable planet. And this time, this time the great Uka Uka will make sure that you do it right! After many eons, my evil twin Uka Uka has been freed from his underground prison. Long ago, I locked him there to protect the world from his malice. Now, free once again, he must be stopped. And thus our adventure begins. Okay. Uka Uka and Cortex plan to use this time-twisting machine to gather crystals that lay scattered across time. I have brought you here to recover the crystals before they do so. To open the time portal, simply stand on a button and then jump into the portal. Good luck. Yeah, thanks, Aku Aku. We're gonna need it. So, as you can see here, only one time travel area is open at the moment. We have to go through that to unlock. The other one, two, three, four, five in total. Coco over here, she is playable as well in this game. She didn't exist in the first game and only became a thing in two in which she wasn't playable, unfortunately. But this is your load and save screen here. As you can see, I'm using the, uh, as you can't see, rather, because you can't see me. But I'm using the left analog stick to move, obviously. Just tilt it slightly and crash will walk. Hold circle to crouch. 
and move with the analog stick or the D-pad to crawl. X is jump, square is your spin attack and triangle shows your progress. We have four lives and no wumper fruit. Wumper fruit are those apple locking things in case you're new to the Crash series. Oh man, I'm doing this just in time for the remakes too. Coming out on PlayStation 4 June 30th, Crash Bandicoot and Saint Trilogy get hyped. Now as you can see there are five little buttons here, each one representing a level. We got level one, Toad Village. Level two, Under Pressure. Doom 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 da doom 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 Level three, Orient Express. That is a Coco level. See that Coco icon on the left there? That means you can play as her in this level. Level four, Dino no, Boneyard, Dino Might is level eleven. Pretty sure. And level five, making waves. Another Coco level. We're going to be going in numerical order. Three levels in one part, followed by two levels and then the boss in the next part. Now the boss for this time travel area is Tiny Tiger. He currently holds the crystal, the gem, and the relic for the for these levels. Some levels have more than one gem, but I'll get into that later. In the meantime, let's go! Crash, crash, Hello. crash. Why must you always muck in my mud? Oh look, I have a mask helping me too. We will find out which one is more powerful soon enough. Well then, <laughs> See these boxes in front of you? What you gotta do is smash. Now you can do that by spinning them or... Or jumping on them. Or press X and circle in the air to body slam. These ones you have to jump on more than once. They give you a crap ton of wumper fruit. Collect a hundred wumper fruit to get an extra life. Oh yeah, goat. Ah yes, you can slide into enemies as well by pressing circle while running. See that nifty little box there? Spin that or jump on it or body slam it and it will give you an Aku Aku mask. That is basically an extra hit point. Ah, boxes marked with a C are checkpoints. And those boxes there, they're roulette boxes. They can give you either wumper fruit or an extra life. Or nothing at all. Uh, but if you don't spin them or jump on them fast enough, they turn into steel boxes. Which can't be... Did I just take out that... Uh, Toad, Frog, whatever, and that Swordsman in one go? That was pretty sweet. Anyway, as I was saying, Roulette boxes will eventually turn into Steel boxes, which can't be opened at all. And thus, that's minus one box for your box count. Now this little platform here will take you to the bonus area. And the music changes too. Now you have to go through these if you want to get the uh, box gem. Some levels, however, I will say now, have secret entrances which provide either more boxes so you can get the box gem, an extra gem, a coloured gem, or both. Or something. I don't know. <laughs> well, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Take that. You can take out a lot of boxes at once with that body slam. Jump on you. Dude. Thank you. Oh god damn it. 
Yeah, get hit and you lose your Aku Aku mask. Yeah, we're gonna be covering the first three levels in this part. This one, uh, under pressure, which is an underwater level, which I find annoying. Thankfully, there's only two of them. And we just got the crystal. And Orient Express, a Coco level. I love playing as Coco. Oh, Well, that's one death already. I I spun him. I swear. I just died in the first level. I've already embarrassed myself. Shut up, Dad. I know. I spun him. I swear to God. Stupid goat. Thank you for dying. Box gem get! And that is level one finished. Yeah, there are lots of ways to die in this game. Do 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 do. Yeah. Do the crash dance. Of trivia that was actually added in the Japanese version of the first game, and Naughty Dog liked it so much. Oh crap! Is my mic in? Yes, it is. Naughty Dog liked it so much that they put it in the uh, in every version of Crash 2 and 3 since the international versions. Like, anyway, under pressure, let's go. How did I completely miss the warp bubble? God. Yeah, Crash normally can't swim, so for these levels he have he have to have. He have to have he has to have scuba diving gear. Like oxygen tank goggles, flippers. Oh god, underwater mines, underwater mines, oh god. No like Oh god, bad, 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 bad. Yeah, spinning makes you go faster. Puffer fish! Bye! Checkpoint! Oh boy. These electric rotating discs are just Eels! Eels! Shark! I don't want to be shark bait! I don't want to be shark bait! Oh god no! Oh god no! I don't want to get blown up! Nor do I want to get puffed up by a puff fish. Yay! Hey, another checkpoint! These levels are a bit of a pain in the neck. Ooh, this thing, I like this thing. Get on, get, thank you. Whoa, vibration! Okay. Circle makes you go faster! And square files missiles. Files. Fires! So, you can blow shit up from a distance. And you can blast that pesky red coral. Whoa, the vibration. I should have really turned vibration off for this because I'm just getting... Oh, and you can blow up enemies too, like that. This is making me uncomfortable. The amount of vibration in my hands right now is just making me extremely uncomfortable. Uh, I'll turn... Uh, vibration off to part two, I promise. Whoa. Oh god, oh god. This is, this is tricky. Oh boy. I do not want to be zapped, thank you. Ah! Ah! 
Oh, I had a mask? I didn't realize I had a mask. Oh yeah, you get three of them. Whoa! Vibration again. You become temporarily invincible. But uh, that doesn't happen in the underwater levels, unfortunately. Oh yeah, returning from the second game, just so you know, uh, TNT crates and nitro crates. Yeah, I'm pretty sure nitro crates were introduced in Crash 2. Crystal! Oh. No, do not miss the crystal, Rosie. Good girl. Box gem, get! Oh yeah! Hey, I made it through an underwater level with no deaths. I usually have trouble with those. Deaths. Deaths. So, only one death so far. And that was in the first freaking level. Oh god, I'm so embarrassed. Yeah, you do your little dance, Crash. You deserve it. I love that warp room music. Okay, next up we get to play as Coco. Watch what happens when Crash tries to go through the warp bubble. He falls flat on his face. <laughs> I love it. Alrighty. See this little tiger cave? Okay, Cub. His name's Pura. And we get to ride him. Yay. Oh, vibration again. X to jump for the buttons or analog stick to move. And circle gives you a bit of a speed boost and I missed one so I'm going to have to die. Did I get all four of those? I hope I did. Otherwise I'm gonna have to go back. Please tell me I hit that checkpoint. I don't think I did. No I didn't! How did I not hit the checkpoint? Yeah, I deliberately die every time I miss a box. I suck. I should really have gone over this before. Now you're going to see several minutes of me being terrible at Orient Express. I didn't even do that on purpose, I swear! That, on the other hand... Unbelievable. I think the game is punishing me for not starting it when I said I would on uh, Sunday. No, no, Saturday. Okay, I need to not wiggle the analog sticks so much. I'm 
always going to miss that one. Game over. Dang it. I'm just so bad. So bad that I had to go and unplug my mic by accident. Ugh. Nothing is going right in this first part, I apologize. Nothing at all. You know what, fuck it, I'll come back for the box gem, I don't care anymore. Oh, Square gives you a speed boost as well, I don't want to get a- Game over on the first fucking part. Dad, shut up. Go away, I don't need you. I'll come back for the box gym. My main concern is actually finishing the goddamn level in one piece at the moment. 41 out of 51. I missed 10 boxes because I hate myself. Bye bye, Cora. I'll get the box dream. Dream? Fuck! Box gem off screen. I don't care anymore. I'm done. Nothing is going right for me in this first part. Okay, I will see you guys in part two when we take on Boneyard, Making Waves, and Tiny Flippin' Tiger. Bye-bye.